Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing okay. So, I'm bringing you a bit of a crafty video. Uh, I've seen like uh, craft videos out there. Uh, one of my YouTuber friends that I watch, uh, Michelle, she does quite a lot of them. And I'm watching them and I really quite enjoy watching them. And I was like, I want to get involved. So, uh, on a Poundland Facebook group, uh, Poundland Appreciation Society, I think it's called. Uh, I've seen something, and it's like like stuff that they've got from Poundland. Well, the majority of the stuff they got from Poundland, and I was like, I quite like that. So I'll pop a picture here of what I've seen. Uh, it's basically just a vase, and I really liked it. So I'm going to attempt to see if I can actually do it myself. Whether it's like things are actually that easy to actually make. Uh, because there are quite a lot of things I've seen out there that people have bought from like Home Bargains, B&M, Poundlands, etc. Uh, that they've just customised and changed, uh, done a bit of crafting on it and it looks really good. So, I have got a vase, which I got from Poundland, a pound. I've got paints. Uh, I'm going to mix up the colour theme because all white is nice, but I'm going to like do like a stony beige colour. So I've got paints, uh, I've got white acrylic, uh, that was a pound, and I've got a pack of six uh, acrylic colours for three pounds. And the air drying clay I got from the range, and this was one ninety nine. Uh, but I'm going to start off with the clay first because it's air dry clay, but I don't know how long it takes to dry. I mean, like, literally nowhere on the packet tells you how long it takes to dry. So, uh, I thought if I just mould the, like, the design of the face I want on first and then... Uh, let it dry. I can try and like. I'm hoping it doesn't stick to the vase. Then I can come back and paint the vase and then glue the uh, clay back onto it. So I'm just going to remove the barcode at the bottom, like the sticker. Okay, thought it was going to come off all in one piece, but it didn't. Uh, in the bin it goes. And yeah, let's get stuck into it. So there's going to be a bit of a weird angle, I apologise. And yeah, so let's just get stuck into it. I'm really loving like the uh, stripy line designs. I've got a couple of tops in it now. Uh, I've got some earrings as well. So, don't know how much of this I need. But I know it's not going to be much. Oh, that's hard. Oh! Oh, I did my nails. That was hard. Oh. Do we need water to activate it? I don't know. So, okay, I don't think I need water to activate it because it's moving quite uh, softly. So, I'm going to start off with the nose first. Trying to get it all warmed up in my hands so it's easier to play with. <laughs> so, nose first. No, we don't. Okay, it's not sticking off, it's not sticking to this. Um, don't know what to do. Uh, oh, if I press it down a bit, then it's sticking. So, I think I need a bit more actually. Always well, easy to start off with the mouth because. I know where to go. No, actually, the, the eyebrow and the nose, that's... Oh, I don't know. Or oh, shall I start with the eye? I really don't know. So, I've got a bigger bit. Uh, right, I'm going to stick that like that, so it's not going to roll. Oh. 
Right. Um, I think I am happy with that. So I'm gonna. I know it's upside down to you, so I'm going to do a bit for the mouth now, I think. Now onto the lower mouth lip. <laughs> right, I'm gonna show you how it looks like so far. Kind of looks like it. So now, just the last thing to do is eat the eye. Mm, which I think is going to be the difficult part because I feel like on the original design this what was more arched and I don't want to play with it again so what about if I just do sort of like change the design and do like a dot or something so it looks something like that See what I mean? And I've just lost my support. So, uh, think, 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 Matthew, what I'm going to do. Right, first I'm going to attempt the circle thing. Do all of that. Does it look good? Uh, I don't know. It looks a bit naff, don't it? Oh no! <laughs> Great. Mm, what about dot each side? No, I'm gonna... Like that. Right, you know what? I do actually quite like that one. It's got my own mix on it as well. So I feel like I'm just going to tweak it a bit and then let it to dry. And then I'll come back when I'm going to do the painting. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, but yeah, that is what hopefully it will look like so see you when I come back to the painting so all the pieces have dried now uh, the clay pieces so I'm gonna start to paint the vase bars whatever uh, I am gonna use the colors from this one uh, I want it to be like a biscuit color so like a beige color but I'm not gonna completely mix in the colors together because I want it to be like quite uneven, like two different colours, if that makes sense. 
Uh, in my head, I know what I mean, but in reality, God knows. And also, I'm going to use a scour, uh, as I like called scourers, a sponge, uh, to give it like a stone textured effect. So I'm going to use a paintbrush. I'm going to use this, and I'm just going to bowl to do a bit of mixy mixing. So first, I'm going to go in with a bit of brown. Don't know how much I'm gonna need. So then the white. I think I'm gonna need a bit more white to make it lighter because the brown is quite bricky red colour. Um I think I need more white. <laughs> I'm just going to use the whole tube actually. I have got more white in a bigger tube, but in the packet came in, I've used the whole tube. How can I make it more like I'm going to have to add even more white? Um, still not quite the colour I wanted. What about if I add yellow? Will yellow like lighten it up? I don't know. I'm going to add more white. That's a lot of white. Why is it turning red? I'm going to add a bit of yellow. I don't know what I'm doing, but... Yeah, I've got a feeling that's a bad mistake. Oh, I don't know, actually. It's kind of a weird colour. Well, let's just go for it. It's definitely got the texture I wanted, and the two different tones of colours is what I expected, but... It's kind of not the biscuity colour that I wanted, so I don't know. Yeah, it may dry like, like a different colour, but as soon as they when it dries. Can you see like the, the texture on it? I like it. Not mad. I mean like, it's not what I expected or not wanted, but if it was to dry like this colour, I would not be mad. Oh yeah, I'm loving that. I'm just trying to do some patting all over where I've kind of like smudged it. Right, so I can move that aside. I'm going to get another one of these, so I can paint these black. Back. So, put that there. going to need that. No, actually, I'm going to use a bit of cardboard. I'll use the back of that. Uh, so, that's not in the way. So, black. Uh, and also, I'm just using these because I haven't actually got any paintbrushes. So... Okay, why is the black have a different consistency of the white and the brown? That's weird. So, let's 
see how easy it is to do this. Now this is where I'll get the black all over my hands, isn't it? Because I've got to do more touching. Definitely have to do two coats on the black hip black. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to do two coats on the black details because of where I'm holding them. It's it's like turning it a bit greyish, so I'm gonna have to go over those parts again. I don't know how long paint takes to dry. You know what? I don't take. I don't know how like any how long anything takes to dry. Right. They are painted. Well, the first coat's painted. I'm gonna wait for them to dry. Go back in to touch them up, uh, and then I shall come back to you when I'm about to stick them to the race. And then let's see how it well it turns out. So, so I'll see you in a bit. So all the pieces are dried now. That is the final look at the plain bars. I quite like it. Uh, the texture is perfect. It's a bit more pink toned than I wanted it, and I'm not too sure where the pink came from. Uh, I think it was because I added that yellow. I shouldn't have added that yellow. So, uh, the glue I'm going to be using to stick it on is an all purpose clear glue, ultra strong, boss stick. The brand is. Never really heard of that brand before, but it's the only one that has that had at the time. So let's get sticky sticky. The uh, bits have turned out okay as well. Pretty sure I've got all the uh, all the parts painted. Now uh, it says it dry. It's uh, dries fast, so uh, don't know what it's bad in it. Can't even smell at the moment, but hey ho. Uh, Right. You know what? I'm gonna shall I start with this first or the mouth? I'm gonna start with this first because it's more. Right. Just trying to find out where I need to place the glue. I think I smudged it a bit. Well, I've got glue on the uh, base. Which I could I could potentially go over once it's dry. So I don't know how long I'm meant to hold it there for. Right, let's move on to the lips. You can't see any of this, can you? Uh, you know what, I'm going to um, stick it all on and then I'll come back to you because there's none of this that you can actually see. So, I have finished it. This is, the, are you ready? This is the final look and I am loving it. I made this. I just think it's so cool. Um, the shade of it is not exactly uh, the one I was in, uh, imagined in my head, but I am not mad about it. I love it. Um, I reckon I could have just like slightly moved all the design up a bit, but uh, because the clay had already dried, I couldn't mould it back into place. So uh, if I was to change something when I, if I do it again, I would like 
move this up a bit so there's a bit of space between the uh, top lip and the bottom lip. Um, the mouth, the lips are a bit questionable. Like, I don't know if you can see the gap. It looks like it's had a, a dodgy lip filler uh, job. But, yeah, I love this. And I'm 100% I'm going to use it. Uh, home bargains have just... Well, I've been seeing on home bargains um, pictures and stuff online. And they've got, like, different coloured pamper, uh, pampas grasses. So I'm going to get some, uh, like, a, a, a range of different colours and display it and it may even make an, an appearance in my background because I'm reading my background soon uh, but yes this uh, and I've made it myself I can't believe it so the uh, the race was cost one pound the clay cost two pound well 199 uh, the paints all together cost four pounds that's four five six seven pounds for that and this as uh, I've seen similar ones selling for like 25 pounds so for something that come out for seven pound bargain uh, but yes I love it uh, and if you like this video, if you want to see like me attempt to make other things, then leave your thoughts down below and I'll see what I can do. So, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, I've got an eye infection coming, so I'm trying to like not cry. <laughs> so, yes, uh, thank you for watching. Your support means a lot to me. So, it's goodbye for me, Matt. Goodbye for my inner soul. Stay sassy.